Welcome guys, Berrima Camping and Farm Stay is the location of our weekend away for Easter 2024 with all the family. Great to catch up with everyone, sitting on the banks of the mighty Condamine River. Plenty of fishing to be had, plenty of kayaking, lots of camp oven cooking, and just great being there together, camped as a family and also as part of our yearly family fishing challenge. So sit back and enjoy. G'day guys, welcome to another video. This time, Easter Thursday, 2024, and we're out near Warwick, Elbow Valley is the location, and the name of the property is Berrima Farm Stay and Camping. So being Thursday, there's nobody here yet, it's just us. There's one other camp down there on the river, but we got out here nice and early this morning. We got the rest of the, our family coming out later this afternoon, once the kids finish school, and finish work, brothers, that type of thing. And then we'll all be here for a family Easter camp. Being four months since our mum passed away. So good to have everyone together for the Easter weekend. And thinking of your mum. And we wish you were here with us. Anyway, quick look around this campsite. You've got the Condamine River. Heading back up the headwaters. Kalani's over that way in the hills. Condamine River runs straight through in front of all these campsites and then keeps heading west out past Warwick, Yarramalong Weir, Cecil Plains, everywhere that we've been before in previous videos. So we're back up closer to the headwaters this time and it will be our second family fishing competition. So we're all catching up and going to do a bit of fishing in the river and hopefully catch a few carp and Maybe even that yellow belly, hopefully. So this is gonna be us for the next five days. But it won't look like this for long. Once the others all start rolling in, being Good Friday tomorrow, this is gonna fill up very quick. So it'll be interesting to see the change that we have with all the other campers around and how everyone fits in. But there's also a heap of campsites too. You'll see in the drone footage, there's a big dam Got showers and toilets there. There's more camps up behind the dam there as well in the mid camping area. We're down here on Riverside camping area. And then up on top of the hill near the homestead, there's more camping areas up there. So property about a hundred acres, I think it is. Bruce, the owner, very nice gentleman. Can't do enough for you. Uh, sheep property, not sure how many sheep he's got over there in the paddock, but bit different being on a sheep property this time instead of a cattle property but very nice spot and uh, quite a few hundred meters there of river frontage so we're going to enjoy this we'll take you for a wander around and, and try and find a fishing hole <laughs> I see you watching me watching you <laughs> well, here we go I can see the Condamine River it would be nice camping down here. And this is true riverside camping. And this is where I was hoping to get, but a little bit slack again. And it's very popular, this campsite. I did ring up just after Christmas this year to book this, and all these riverside sites were already booked out. So next time we come back, I'll know to book well in advance. But being Easter, probably the worst possible time you can go camping, but... We'll see how crowded it gets, but you do have to book well in advance for anywhere at Easter time. But this is the mighty Condamine River. And there she is again. Looks very fishy. There's got to be some yellow belly in there. I certainly hope there's a yellow belly in there. Nice sights down here, isn't it? <laughs> That's what you want, you put your awning out and fishing rod straight out the front of the van. 
I don't know if you'd get a kayak in here. Or you'd get it in here. And we're all right for a fishing spot. Nice and sandy there. Decent water hole on the corner here. Bruce, the owner, calls the pump hole. She's got the solar set up there. Pumps out of the creek, out of the river there. And that's the spot to catch a yellow belly. And then the campground continues on. Around the corner, there's a heap more areas. Massive big areas down in there. It looks nice. And little babies. They might have a nest in here because they all just flew out of here somewhere. There might be more babies in there. <laughs> Can you do the sheep noise again? <laughs> I found some of the sheep. I don't know how friendly they are. Dad's have to give Dad a microphone next time. I know. <laughs> you know, girls, how quiet are you? Hmm? Not very quiet. No. Hello. Hello. Here's your amenities. Looks like it's a couple of toilets and a shower, all septic. Flushing, I'll have a look inside in a minute. It's not very often you come to a bush campsite set up with a hot shower and flushing toilets. Toilet and shower. Oh, all in one. Yeah, yeah good. Outdoor shower, well, it must be just a cold one that one. Oh, it's another shower. <laughs> Hello, nobody in there. Oh, another shower that one. Yeah, good. I must say that Bruce the owner, he's here on his own most of the time I believe. He's gone to a lot of trouble to settle this up. And how yeah, good, I'd say a lot of these campers, you've got to be very happy that come here. You don't have to bring all your porta potties and everything with you. Your hot showers, you can have it here, but you might have to line up to use them. If there's 30 odd campsites on this property, you might have to wait your turn to use the toilet or the shower. If there's quite a few people camped here. Have a swing, Mandy. Hop on, hop on the swing, I can record you with two cameras. <laughs> <laughs> How am I going to push you as well? Oh, you push yourself. There we go. <laughs> all right, so we're all set up at camp. Been for a walk around, checked the place out, checked out the river and all the fishing spots. Had a bit of lunch. Now, Mandy and Dad are having a quick snooze. I've walked down the river, I'm going to throw a line in myself for five, ten minutes. We'll see how we go. Great little spot. Well, there's no one else around. Surely there's a fish in there. Ah. A nice fresh tin of corn. Not a beer. <laughs> That is a beer. Let's get a line in. All right, two bits of corn on the hook. Here, fishy, fishy. Do 
just a quick mission this one more to see what it's like for early tomorrow morning see if there's any snags in there see if anything's biting That's the hard work done, and we'll just sit back and enjoy the serenity, see if we can get a bite. Well, there ain't much biting yet. Pretty quiet, but still beats working. When you come to these rivers and creeks out the west, sometimes it can take a day or two just to work out what's going on with the amount of flow in the river where the snags are, that type of thing, where they might be biting. I know it's a little bit sandy further up the river. I know the carp like that sandy sort of stuff as well, so possibly they're hanging around up that way and we'll try for a yellow belly up in that big pump hole. But that'll be tomorrow for the start of the Hawkins Family Fishing Challenge. Here, yeah, fishy, fishy, fishy. Come on, fishy. Tomorrow we'll get some worms on the hook. We'll get a bit serious tomorrow, I think, once everyone's here later this afternoon. There's quite a few spots to choose from in the fishing areas along this good couple hundred metres of river, so there's got to be a fish to be found in here somewhere. Could have come over and grabbed it off the ute, but I just wanted to make sure you're happy oh, for us to do it. Yeah. Yeah, you hop in. How good is it when the owner of this hip camp property brings his buggy down, loads her up with rocks himself? to build a supply pit. Oh, it's got a tipper body on it. Yeah. Oh, look at that. <laughs> oh, yeah. Beautiful. Right, thank you. Uh, thanks for that. Right. Okay, see you later. Thank you. I like getting the gloves because if there's a splinter around, oh, yeah. it always finds me. This splintery wood, too. Yeah. So I just had a call from the owner, Bruce, here at Berrima Camping and Farm Stay. He's got a special firewood delivery. Have a go at this. <laughs> Is that service or what? I reckon. <laughs> hey, that's a bit of firewood. Yeah, I reckon that'll burn for easy five days. And get a couple days out of that. Four months ago today, Nana passed away, which is a little bit sad. So Nana would have been here with us camping this weekend so we're going to light this fire and keep the fire going all weekend in memory of Nan. What do you reckon about that? Yep. Yeah? Yeah. Is that a good idea? Yeah. yeah. So we'll light the fire and we'll think of Nan all weekend. Fire in the hole. Just don't point it towards yourself. <laughs> Okay, it's going now. And then you turn the knob off. Other way, other way. Yeah, look. Yeah, smiling. Yeah, yeah, look at that. Yeah, that was. <laughs> that was our last family camp. 
Yay. Yeah. She, she loved that. Yeah. Well, good Friday. 2024 Easter out here at Berrimer, camping and farm stay. A little bit cloudy out here this morning, but had a good night catching up with all the family last night. Everyone's here, we're all set up, sitting around the fire, just having a big catch up last night. Uh, it was very nice just to have all the family together. A little bit of fishing going on last night ahead of the family fishing challenge. Young Dan managed himself a nice carp. Decent, nearly five and a half, six pounder. And now this morning, while I've been sitting around the fire, having my coffee, all the nephews have ventured off down the creek and they've already got a nice little silver perch. So we'll head down and see how things are going down in the mighty Condamine River at the start of the fishing challenge. Here we go. This is where all the action's happening. Hello. So who caught the fish? Fraser. Fraser got the fish. Silver perch. So being Good Friday, I imagine there'll be lots of other campers coming in today. We'll see what this looks like by this afternoon. He's down in Dan in his water hole where he got the big one last night. Was this where you got him, Dan? Yeah, and you got him up this bank. Well done. No bites this morning. Bo's got one. What do you got? Is it a little spangled or a little silver? Let's have a look here. Hello, I got a fish. Turn him side on. A little silver perch. Good job, Bo. Do I let it go? Or... Yeah. Oh, that's a good sign. There's a few in there. Oh, what's going on over here? Yeah, I reckon. There he is. Fraser, how many have you caught? Two. Two. Does that put you in the lead of the competition? Oh, and beaten Grandad. Yep. <laughs> oh, I better get started. <laughs> yeah, I reckon. Because we're heading out on the kayaks with all the nephews. We're going to go for a paddle up the Condamine River. See how far we can go. We'll get in the water here and we'll take off. See what it's like. Hello. <laughs> Boys are already in. fish anymore till we catch up. <laughs> Mandy's on. Down here fishing the Condamine River in the He's Hawkins Family up. Fishing Challenge. Into the snag. Has he got you in the weeds? Uh, it feels just, like it. Just keep the pressure on him. He's going to mangle up your line. Here he comes, here he comes, he's a horse, he's a horse, that's it, oh, yeah, <laughs> there 
There we go. First fish. <laughs> He's a good one. It's been a long time since I caught a caddy. Oh. Dewey. Yeah, look at that. That's he was nearly cool. pulling me rod in. <laughs> look at his whiskers. <laughs> He's pretty happy. Let's let him go. Yeah, he caught a barrel. Yeah, he told us. Oh, talk about a circus. Oh, yeah, yeah. Hello, He's on again. He's on again. Who's got that? I'll do it. I'll do it. He's on again. Hang on, hang on. What is, what is that, a carp? Oh, Worms on gonna the Going to have to help him, Peter. Where's the big silver? Uncle Brad's got hang another on. fish. Hang on. Hang on. Hey, you're tripping over the edge here. You've got a big silver. There we go. Swing it in. Swing it in. Wow. Nice big silver perch. Bring it over across from the Pretty good sea. catch, Uncle Brad. Yeah. Yeah, he's up to you, oh, actually, Fraser, so well, you better hurry up. Won the fishing competition at Mugra Dam with a big one of these years ago. Really? Yeah. What did you oh, get him on? Worm? Or? Yeah, worm. Feel how cold he is. He's cold. Like the water's not that cold. Oh, yeah. It's like he's come out of the fridge. Oh, Max, what there we go. That? Silver perch. Don't go down. That's go close to that? a yellow belly. Yeah. yeah. Let him kiss. go again. Oh, <laughs> Well, the fish is being Say bye to the fish. There you go, Vicky. He's gone. Catch and release for the yep. natives. I'm like, what are you doing? I'm going to go. Oh, can I pull it? Yeah, you got here. Uncle Brad's onto another Money. fish. I don't know what we've got yet, I haven't seen it. Oh, it's yellow. It's yellow. It's a yellow. Belly and yellow belly is too. Don't lose it in the weeds. Oh, uh, looks like a yellow yeah. belly. Woohoo! I've got a yellow belly. <laughs> Go. Got the yellow belly. Still not on a lure. Look at that. Look at the colours in it. Get some something on that, Liam. Yellow belly. Alright, oh, no. we'll get the hook out of him so we can get him back in. There we go. Nice little yellow. Yeah. <laughs> Alright, we'll get him back in. Yeah. Oh, there he goes. He's away. Yeah. And there. Are you catching any, Fraser? None. How many? None. You got two? Yeah. But I'm still. Are you catching any, Liam? Nah, uh, not yet. Got one this morning, snags me, but I didn't see it. That's what I'll say anyway. But we're not counting. Yes, we are. Fraser. Are you catching any bow? Yeah. Mm. Yeah. <laughs> Hello. Are you getting any, Jacob? No, nah, I've gotten a turtle. But that a turtle. doesn't. Yeah, but that doesn't count, so I tra came over here and I got it right in the, over there in the reeds. Oh. Right over there. i check how Grandad's going over here. Has he got any? He's got his big bucket ready to go. <laughs> got the big bucket. That's, that's about all that's big. Any bites over here, Dad? No. No. Very tiny little touches must be, I'd say, be blue claw or something. Yeah. Just see a little twinge. Yeah. Yes, no. And you got your yellow. Alright, fishing update from down this end of the water hole. Anything happening there? Bites, that's about it. Bites. Mm. Mozzie bites. Fish bites. Oh fish bites. No like mozzie bites. Fish fingers. I yeah. <laughs> I think there's no more fishing like I think the fish had enough food today. There's yeah, lunch is passed. Bit of wind, bit How of cloud. How do you know lunch is passed? Um. Have you seen it? Oh, it's a big carp. On worms? Yeah. 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 Right See, now he's just floating on top. He's just about bugging and swim him into the net. That's it. Got him. Good job. 
Over here. A bit quiet at the moment. Yeah. Any action down there? Zero. Yeah. Uh, not even a tuck. I'll have to wait till the tide change. Yeah, maybe. <laughs> Dan just got another big carp down there. Did he? Yeah. On corn or worms? Oh, he's on worms, isn't he? Yeah, worms, yeah. yeah. Well, what a day here. Good Friday, Easter 2024. Yesterday we had the campground to ourselves. Now, you can probably see in the background, there's campers everywhere. But they all seem like a friendly bunch. Probably, we normally wouldn't camp in a situation like this with so many campers around. We like to have our own bit of space, but it's still an amazing place here and having friendly people to camp in amongst and we're all here for the same reason, camping at Easter. It's just amazing. Got the river down there, everyone's still fishing or a few of them are still fishing. Got a few good fish today, including my first ever yellow belly out of the Condamine River. I'm pretty happy with that, I'm stoked. So. It's just about that time that we're gonna give it away for today and head back up and stoke the fire up and a bit of camp oven cooking and we're going to do the rump cap again the pin charter or pinana however you say it it was that good last time only it dried out a little bit when we sat around the fire when we were farm sitting and left it dry out a little bit so we're going to give that another go in the camp oven as well as a potato bake in the little camp oven and we're going to double stack them to save on coals because the coals from this wood ain't that good so we'll see how that goes I'm not going to do a full cooking segment on it we'll just show you the finished product before we get it in our bellies and then we'll catch up with you tomorrow Easter Saturday now I said we weren't going to film a cooking segment so I didn't I got Jacob new up and coming YouTuber to do the filming for us it was such a good fun afternoon making the potato bake with the nephews it was all hands on deck even dad to hold the table steady it was just so much fun and everyone sitting around having a laugh it's a great afternoon spent with the family just quality time once we had the potato bake done it was time to get down and dirty with the rub the magic dust only this time they got the boys to do it. Fraser and Bo were on the job. They did such a good job too. Probably why it tasted so good boys. Hey thank you. everything ready it was into the camp oven we had plenty of good coals there before I'd been stoked doubled it stacked it preheated the top camp oven ready for the potato bake to go in and then that was it all coals on top let it sit for a good hour after that this was the end result absolutely delicious well, thanks for all your help boys after that, it was just a quiet night around the fire with all the family, just spending quality time together. So this is the end of part one of this. We will have a part two coming very shortly of Berrima Camping and Farm Stay. But in the meantime, if you'd like to watch more videos, check these out on the screen now from Past Adventures. If you like this video, please hit the like button and subscribe to our channel so you can follow us on our future adventures and you won't miss a thing if you turn your notifications on and it'll give you a ding. Thanks guys, stay safe.